Unit 5, Section C, Exercise 2. Right, guys. You all like horror stories, don't you? I've got a great one. A horror story? Great, Ian. They're so interesting. Oh, shush, Max. Fantastic. How scary is it? Don't shush me, Jill. Well, I think I like horror stories. Don't worry, Caro. You know what an urban legend is? Of course we do. Anyway, you're not supposed to say it's an urban legend. You're supposed to say, this happened to a friend of a friend of mine, like it was true. Well, whatever. I'm not saying it isn't true. It could easily be true. I hope it isn't true. Come on, let's just hear it. OK. I think this story comes from the American Midwest, where you drive for miles on open roads without seeing anyone. Well, there was a young woman driving home alone across open country. It was dark and rainy, and it was getting late. Oh dear, I don't like this story already. Oh yeah, it's so scary. I quite like this kind of story. Guys, I haven't even started yet. Anyway, she realised that she'd have to stop for petrol soon if she didn't want to start walking. But there hadn't been anywhere for miles and miles. But luckily, she came across a little petrol station a bit further down the road. It was one of those creepy, old-fashioned American petrol stations, the kind with an attendant who comes out to pump the petrol, and something about it made her feel really uncomfortable, and she didn't want to stop. But she knew that she couldn't get much further without refuelling, so she reluctantly pulled into the petrol station and asked the attendant to fill up the tank. I bet the attendant's a murderer. Oh no, she shouldn't get out of the car. I'll continue, shall I? Anyway, the attendant seemed nervous as he filled up her petrol tank, but eventually he finished the job and came over to the driver's side to get the payment. She gave him a $50 banknote. He examined it carefully, then told her that it was a forgery. At this point, she wasn't just uncomfortable, but really scared. The attendant explained that he would have to take her back to his office and call his manager because the forged banknote would have to be reported. Once he had convinced her to come with him, he explained that there wasn't actually a problem with the money. He'd needed to get her out of the car because there was a man with an axe hiding in the back seat. 